The majority of patients with severe sinus disease, including those with nasal polyps, have a reduced smell capacity. The first line therapeutic approach is medical treatment, which is improving the smell capacity in about one out of two of the patients. In those patients in which medical treatment is not successful in improving the smell, we may uh, advocate uh, endoscopic sinus surgery. The endoscopic sinus surgery is successful when it comes to improvement of smell also in one out of two of the patients. And this can be explained via different mechanisms allowing smell particles to reach the olfactory region. You can use nasal steroid sprays for a longer term because several studies have demonstrated that nasal steroid use is not associated with damage at the level of the nasal or sinonasal mucosa. Due to the fact that we apply nasal steroids in a spray, there is just a limited bioavailability in the blood, which is responsible for the fact that actually systemic adverse events are really limited and not so much to be expected. Rinsing with nasal saline of the nasal cavity and also the sinonasal cavities is very important because you rinse away all mediators that are responsible for the chronicity of the disease. You not only rinse away those mediators that are responsible for the disease development, but you also rinse away all the environmental factors that are triggering the disease. If you're, for instance, exposed to dust or to pollutants, by rinsing the nose and the sinonasal cavity with saline, you rinse away these particles that may contribute to the disease.